Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? Um, what I'm going to talk about right now is something that I don't normally talk about, okay? And it's what we saw unfold in a courtroom in New York. And it makes it abundantly clear, okay? It makes it abundantly clear that they will use every single tool at their disposal to maintain power. They are willing to break all the norms and obliterate our constitutional protections in the name of self-preservation. The lawfare being employed against 45 and mm, many of his high profile supporters is nothing short of shocking. And this happens in a nation, in a country where politicians like 46 and Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, who named the dirtiest of the dirty, okay, routinely laundered money, received bribes and kickbacks from organizations that were willing to buy their influence. Okay. Now, sadly, these, these charges of falsifying business records, okay, they carry up to four years behind bars. Now, with New York capping sentencing um, for this type of felony at 20 years, <clears throat> do I believe that he will see inside of a jail cell? No, no, I do not. Uh, maybe probation or house arrest. That will, in itself, put a huge damper on his campaign trail. But I'm sure he will find loopholes because he always does. He's really good at that. Uh, but unfortunately, he will not be able to grant himself uh, immunity if and when he were to take office again. Okay. Uh, and due to the fact that he has numerous gag order violations, it will be a factor in his sentencing. Okay. So... I, I wanted to, you know, talk about that just a little bit um, because, you know, I know that a lot of us, we support this one, we support that one, we support this one, okay? Whoever it is that you support, it doesn't, whoever it is, I don't mind, okay? I'm not going to, you know, say, I support this one. I'm not saying it, okay? Because the one thing that I have learned is you never talk about politics within your family and your friend circle. And I'm not doing that because it is just something that you just don't do, you know? Uh, but unfortunately, you know, lawfare could just be the very beginning of what we are truly going to see and experience in the very near future. Okay. I mean, look at what we saw. Look at what we saw with the last pandemic that no event Okay, gave them greater control and maximized their ability to trample the Constitution than an emergency. Okay, think about that for just a moment, which raises the very question will they manufacture another emergency this year? The answer very may well be yes. For months, the globalists have been warning us about the possibility of disease X, right? And now I'm not talking about Twitter. <laughs> now, I, am I saying panic, panic, panic? No, okay, I would never do that to you. Now is not the time to panic. Don't ever panic, okay? With the lifestyles that we live, of being of the prepared mind, we stock up, we do this, we do that. Now is not the time to panic, nor is this the time to be complacent. Now is the time to be prepared. We know what the globalists did in 2020. We learned our lesson, okay? And we know what they will do so they can maintain power. Look what they are doing to one of the richest men in the world. An ex-president, for crying out loud, soon to be, again. Look what they're doing to him. 
Can you imagine what they will do to us if we don't obey? Okay, this could possibly make 2024 a potentially very dangerous year for Americans. I mean, it could very well do it for 2025 and beyond. So take the steps that you need to take in order to become more self-sufficient. And I know you're probably thinking, well, you know, times are tough, budget, you know, I get it. Believe me, I'm right there with you. I mean, Sean and I are preparing for baby, you know. We're setting up nursery now. And that's expensive. But we're doing it. And we're just the grandparents. But we're doing it, you know. And we're stocking up on the diapers and the wipes. We have a bassinet. We have a pack and play. We've got the changing table. We got this. We got that. We got this. We got that. We have to do it, you know. We can't let our kids go about this by themselves. Why would we do that? You know, just like why would you let your children or your family members go about anything by themselves when you yourself know to be prepared? So in case of an emergency, because we live in a hurricane-prone area, hurricane season starts now for crying out loud. So we have everything ready. Hurricane comes, whammo, come here. We've got the generators, we're already ready, we're ready to go. Just bring your bodies over here. So I'm getting off track, I understand that, but always be prepared because look at what they're doing to him. Imagine what they will do to us. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless. less.